Yeah, hello, welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm out in the forest where I made my first uh, Viking tent uh, layout. Show you how I, I did that. So, and tonight or today I'm going to make an order in my Polish Lavu. And uh, yeah, I got some new stuff I would like to show you. Among them, this one. Very excited, first time. And uh, some stuff for another company that is really cool. So now I have to set up my my Polish level and uh, yeah as I've shown before in another video I have a system to uh, put this up so I'll show you that again yeah and uh, this is the Polish level uh, the medium size um, that I brought with me and for this setup I have such a ring and some paracord I'll show you and explain why I have this so, yeah, I want to make a system or a setup that is without the pole in the middle, that's getting much bigger. So this paracord, it's a triangle and uh, you can see here, I got a loop there, loop there and a loop down here. And these loops are exactly the same length, uh, I think it's about two meters. And um, then I have a little knot here, when I tie it together. And from this knot and down to this loop, the poles are going to be that length. So I just have to cut poles, three of these, in this length and uh, then set it up. I'll show you. From the knot and down here. Approximately here. Yeah. And then I just have to make three of these. So I can use this. Yeah. Let's try it. Then I just have to put the loops here with Alexa like this and to the other loop here.
Yips. And this one. Yeah. So now the poles are exactly the same length all the way around. I should be able to put this up. Like this. There's some picks in. It's an okay setup. I um, want it to be open most of the time. And as you can see, there's plenty, plenty of room in here. I'll take you a little bit closer. Plenty of room inside. And um, yeah. This is my sleeping system for today. I got a sleeping mat from Tamarist. I don't know what it's called uh, and I can't find it anymore. But it's really cool. It's so sturdy and durable. Uh, it's called Ventura WV. It's an old one I have had for many years. I bought it up in Norway and uh, it's not uh, isolated so it's no good if it's uh, freezing. But today it's going to be about 10 degrees during the night. So it's more than enough for this. So I have this one and then I have my uh, One Tigris uh, sleeping bag and it's really awesome. This uh, sleeping bag I had many years and I slept in it uh, down to some degrees Celsius uh, minus 5 to 10 and uh, yeah this one can uh, have a comfortable uh, zone for about 16 minus 16 degrees Celsius so it's a really awesome it's down and uh, yeah go in and check them out one Tigris it's an awesome company and uh, yeah I can't get uh, such a quality sleeping bag in Denmark for the price of this it's very a good price you have. So this is the one that I'm going to sleep with tonight. And again, I don't want, and again, I'm sure I won't be freezing because it's really warm, uh, very warm here in Denmark at the time. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, like with all uh, down sleeping bags, they are not good to have in uh, in such a small uh, space. So you have to put it. Pull it out and lay it out so you can make sure that the downs are flopped up and uh, they will isolate maximum. And when I'm home I have this in a large uh, plastic bag uh, so it's not compressed when I'm home. Just laying in that and uh, in a dry warm uh, room.
It's really hot, about 14 degrees Celsius here. Very hot. And uh, in a minute I will show you this. You can see fire hiking. It's the same name that I have uh, chose for this video. So just sit and relax a bit and then I'll show you that. Yeah, <clears throat> some months ago this company, Fire Hiking, contacted me and uh, asked me if I was interested in getting these uh, one of these um, stoves for the tent, uh, for hot tent stove uh, in titanium. And of course I said yes to that and uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, I also said that I had to wait until uh, it's getting a little bit colder. Uh, so it's uh, useful out here in my little lavu. Um, yeah, I know it's, I'll tell you about this awesome product. It comes in this bag, and here's the chimney. Some instruction. Yeah. And then down here, see if I can. And there are even some gloves with. Uh, with this set, uh, so you can touch this um, stove without getting burned. It's a uh, hot gloves. Very compact system. Yeah. And you can see here. Brand new, as you can see, so yeah. Then you just have to put the sides in. Let's see, I think it's like this. Yeah. And uh, very awesome, there's glass in this side. And of course you can have it on either sides, like this. They have to go down, like this. And then the top, and lock them in place, like this. See here? Very cool, and down in the bottom, there's uh, now these legs, and just pull them out. Yeah. Isn't it cool? And then this for the chimney, have to put up here. Just have to screw this out. Like this. And just. Down again. All the down, way down and tight. And on this, there's these, these rings, and that's for the chimney. I'll show you how I uh, assemble that. Here's the chimney. I say it's, it was much more, much more difficult than I had expected uh, to make this chimney. It's not pretty, not at all, but I think it will work. And uh, yeah, I guess if you have, if you do it back home, you have a, a pole, a, a long stick, 
uh, that you can turn it around. I think this will be much better and I think uh, it's most difficult the first time then the metal has uh, gained some some memory so it will uh, come around this way. So, But uh, let's see if it can come up on the stove. And this one in Here we are. And uh, yeah, perhaps these gloves were for protection also because it's very sharp and I cut myself a couple of times when I made the chimney. So use these gloves, they are good for that too. And uh, I use this pocket for for the stove, so that the chimney can come up there. Yeah. But I'll wait, I'll wait until it's getting a little bit colder and, and uh, darker, so I'll put this up then. Now I think it's time for a cup of coffee. I'm uh, using my fireball here. And again, thank you very much uh, for all the support on this project. Now it's uh, going into production and those of you who have uh, been a backer for this project, you'll get it uh, soon. I think it's uh, February, they say. So, and I'm so excited to hear your feedback on this. Uh, this little fireball.
some salt. And uh, this company, Forest uh, Fundamentals, uh, has sent me some stuff as well. Uh, it's located in England. And uh, yeah, they sent me this, a fire striker with a striker and some fat wood. It's really awesome and it's good quality. Um, yeah, and uh, in the lanyard here, so you can have it. Anywhere you like, on your belt or on your... Very good, very good fire steel here. 
and there is actually also let me show you here this one that is a fire striker and a fire steel here you can have around your neck <laughs> it's also very good you can see here lots of sparks so this is something you can uh, have around your neck and uh, and this one is so awesome and I'm so grateful that they want to support me and give me this stuff and this is a they call it let me see forager pouch so it's something you can have uh, on your belts and then um, you can collect things in here uh, and then the let me see how it's just working. Yeah, and of course you have to, uh, you can have it in your belts. And then I think it's this way. Yeah, like this. Snap it and then you can have it on your belts. And if you want to collect something, you open it and just put it down here. Good quality wax canvas. Uh, yeah, and I think I'll have this on my belt from now on. And then the last thing here, uh, a mill bag. Uh, many of you know what this is, but this is my first one. And it's for uh, cleaning water. You can see here. And the principle is you if you come to a stream or a lake, you want to have some water there, uh, you can uh, collect it in this, put as much water as it can, and when the, when the water is scraping down here, and they reach this point, then you can begin using it, uh, drip it down in your canteen or something, and collect it there. Uh, this will only take the, the big parts of the uh, water, the, the dirty water, so we have to boil it, but um, yeah, uh, it's really cool. And uh, next time I'm out and making a uh, hike in some place where there's water, a lake or so, I will use this. And this comes with a bag. So uh, when this one is wet, you can put it in here and it won't uh, make all your other stuff wet. It's very cool and uh, a, good, uh, a good idea. So yeah, I never used such one before. So I'm very excited for that and uh, yeah. I'm very uh, uh, grateful for Forest uh, Fundamentals that they want to send me these stuff. It's a little company, a small company in England, so uh, go in and check them out. I'll put a link in my video description as you can see what they are going to, what they can sell you. It's really awesome. I'm so grateful they want to support me by giving me this stuff. This is um, a very simple meal, uh, onions, sausages, some uh, potatoes that I have cooked back home, actually it's from the dinner I had last uh, yesterday, so
Yeah. And this time I had my uh, container with with the um, salt and pepper in. Uh, I filled it up. So a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Yeah, and then I always come a little bit of paprika on, and in this there's paprika. Oh yeah, so delicious. What can be better than a little bit of egg? Yeah. Now I think it's finished. Mmm. Yeah. A little beer. Cool everyone, it's a Christmas beer, Danish Christmas beer. Mm. Where can I put it? There? Yeah. getting dark very soon, very fast, I mean, and um, I got some, I bought a light that I will try to use out here, uh, video lights, so perhaps that will be a good thing now that the sun has gone down and yeah, in an hour or so it's pitch black dark here. I think I'll set it up so you can see the difference. Yeah, now the light is up and I think you can see the difference between the before and now. I have to use that for the rest of the evening I think until I go to bed. And beside that I have an appointment very early in the morning so I'll probably get out here from this camp about six o'clock and so on, so it's very dark at that moment, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make some footage uh, from the morning. I don't go, I'm not going to make any breakfast or something like that, so perhaps yeah, this video will end when I go to bed, just so you know that. Now I'll set my stove up.
put two sticks in so that the um, the canvas won't touch the the chimney when it's hot. So I hope this will work. Yeah. So now I'll try to light this up for the first time. And uh, yeah, I use these. And as you can see, there's smoke coming up of the chimney. So it's working. It's nice. It's working very good, I must say. Yeah. Fire hiking titanium stove. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, all the problem with the chimney, but I think I'll try to come back home and uh, roll it up over a long stick and then I think it'll be very nice. And I can already I can already uh, feel the heat from this stove. So I think it'll be very cozy in here tonight. Yeah. I think I'll make a cup of coffee using the stove and uh, yeah I think it will be very quick it's very hot and then soon I'll be hitting the sack And uh, yeah, because I have to get up early in the morning. That's the way. Very efficient burning there. I like this little stove. So cool. Yeah, the coffee is boiling now. So um, let it boil for a minute or so. And then I'll have my evening coffee before I go to, to bed into the sack. It's been a wonderful evening out here, very calm and no wind, warm, yeah, just great. I think I have to uh, get a, a bigger tent uh, for the stove because it takes uh, some room here. I would like a, stove, uh, a tent that is a little bit bigger so I can uh, have all my gear in here. So now I'll set it here and wait a minute and then I'll have my coffee. Yeah. 
see if there's some more of the good stuff. Oh yeah. I have to fill it up when I come home. Thank you for joining me in this one, this wonderful overnighter here in the Drastrup forest, as it's called. Oh yeah. Yeah. And soon I'll be sleeping in my my sleeping back and hopefully have a cozy night out here. I'm sure it'll be nice. And I think I'll have the door open the first hour or so and then uh, close it if it's going to be cold. Good night everyone. Yeah. Thank you for watching Kimber Bushcraft. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. <laughs>